keep this clutch in and we'll see if we can roll quietly past this horse. There we go. Well, I do believe that this weekend signifies the start of the uh, 2023 biking season. Or at least it does where I live. I mean, typically, typically the sun comes out in March and all us bikers, we all get excited because we think summer's here and then the April showers tend to hit us and it rains for what feels like a month but hey at least it's just rain at least it's just the rain that's visiting us it's not as though it's not as though we're getting a visit from the desert that's a little inside joke for a, a, a really good friend of mine where he lives sometimes they go to visit the desert and sometimes they get sandstorms and the desert comes to visit them it's amazing what we take for granted in England like the fact that we don't really have to deal with visits from the desert but the April showers they've been and I would like to think they've gone but hey in this country who knows but I would like to think the April showers have gone for the most part at least And the weather this weekend, it looks like the wind speed is as low as four miles an hour. And although the temperature only gets up as high as 12 degrees, with such a low wind velocity, it doesn't feel too bad. it's actually quite pleasant out and I remember at the end of last year when the biking season ended well I rode all the way through winter as you know so for me it's almost like the season never ended it just changed and hopefully now it's changing back but at the end of summer I kind of signified that was a very nice very old bike that was so anyway at the end of summer I kind of marked the end of summer with a sports bike adventure out to Trensham Reservoir and it was a lovely little trip out it was a nice little adventure I have to be careful on the roads out here because I've only been out here once but when I did come out here I mean must be must be close to six months ago now and when I did come out here I had a little bit of a slip out my back wheel slipped out a little bit so yeah I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this quite easy bearing in mind as well that this is a single track road and my limit point just then was almost non-existent I could see almost nothing around that there so we'll take it easy try and stay focused this time we don't want any more slip outs see last time wasn't just that we had a slip out I'd actually crashed the drone and I think that was occupying my mind when I left 
was the fact that I crashed the drone for the first time and then I almost crashed the bike. So let's not do either of those things today. But being such nice weather and having a wind speed as low as four miles an hour, I think it gets up to about 10 on a gust, might be a great opportunity for me to fly the drone. A friend of mine says, and he's not the only one I've heard this before, but a friend of mine says that biking is the closest thing you can get to flying without actually leaving the ground. I think he's absolutely right. And then what I go and do is I take the bike out and I then fly my drone. I think I'm even closer to flying. I'm living vicariously through the drone. I don't know what keeps hitting my visor, but I'm glad that I've got my visor down. this clutch in and we'll see if we can roll quietly past this horse there we go lovely animal Trenchford Reservoir. Well, I think I was close. I forget exactly what I called it, but I think I was close. Right then, let's see that water. I think there's a bit of a comical irony about all of this. I live by the sea, and yet I ride up here to see the water. I know. I'm a man of many contradictions. And I love it. Although saying that, there is something about this. This isn't just the sea, this hits differently. Not better or worse, just different. Wow, this is so different to last time. Like last time, there was people stood down there fishing. Like you can't even stand down there now. Let's see if you can go here. Mm, you're going to bury yourself? Maybe. Mm. We'll see. As long as you're not about to fall over, mate. I'm so going to go back and look at my old footage. Like, literally, there was people stood there, fishing into the water. Now look how high it is. Such a difference. Still beautiful. Still glad that I'm out here. So, quick little update, just before the bike buries himself. Um, let's have a look. Um, he seems to be doing all right. Doesn't look like he's actually going to bury himself, which is nice, or tip himself over. So he's, he's, he's doing all right. So anyway, a couple of weeks back, I mentioned that I might want to paint his handlebar clip-ons. And yeah, that was two weeks ago. And I've done it, I've managed to paint them. Uh, it was a, an interesting job. I'm, I'm not the greatest painter, I have to accept this. You know, of all the vehicle related things that I turn my hand to, paint is just not, it's just not my forte, it's not what I'm, what I'm best at. I have the patience for it though, and I did exercise all of that patience. I took off his clip-ons, sanded them, took my time doing that, um, gave them a couple of coats of high build, followed by several coats of satin black, 
and I must say the finished the finished job looks amazing so this is the finished article and hopefully it comes through on camera as well as it is in person I absolutely love the finish on these and I must say my OCD came into its own because after painting these one thing that I managed to source in preparation for painting these was these little caps here these little caps that are meant to be there from the factory they were never there he just had some partially rusty bolts so we replaced the bolts the black ones and fitted the caps there and I know it's you know it's it's my OCD getting the better of me but sometimes hey sometimes my OCD comes into its own and the attention to detail side of OCD is bloody brilliant when it comes to things like cars and bikes so that's my little bike update nothing really nothing major to report I mean I yeah I love my clip-ons uh, I do still want to take off these pillion pegs and replace the seat with a with a seat cowl I would love to get some cotton reels fitted but for that I'm going to have to drill the swing arm and fit the cotton reels so who knows if I find if I find the courage to drill my swing arm then maybe we'll get some cotton reels fitted but other than that it's looking all right it could do with a little bit of a clean because yes I have been out in the rain again a little bit and you can really see it on the hugger just there uh, yeah he's not too dirty I do still sometimes get called a fair weather rider but I bring that on myself to be fair because one day I'm commuting to work and the next day it's raining and I take Lexi with me <laughs> I just don't see the point if I've got a car why ride, why ride the bike to work and get absolutely soaking wet and then be miserable at work because I'm in drowned clothes for example and I'm not saying I would be absolutely drowned you know I've got my I've got my protective gear but I just think to myself I've got a car it's raining I may as well I may as well take the car so I get called Mr. Fairweather and then the next day the sun comes out and I'm commuting to work again it is what it is well it really is a lovely day and what a lovely place to be when you look at where I am right now So nice. Reminds me of the peace and clarity that my motorbike brings me. Ever heard people say that they get stuck in their own head? You have a friend or family member tell you that they get stuck in their own head? Get them a motorbike. You ain't getting stuck in your own head riding a motorbike. Not with the, the peace and clarity that it brings. And then I go ride my bike to a place like this and I don't want to go home. But also, I do want to go home because hopefully this weekend uh, hopefully this weekend I'm going to take Laren's frock off and fix that steering stop that's that's broken off which if I do that then she can get an MOT yeah so as exciting as it is being out and being at a place like this yeah let's go home and work on a motorbike
Well, that was thoroughly enjoyable. Excellent start to the uh, to the biking season. I feel like I feel like I, could, I should get myself out on some more little adventures like this this year. A friend of mine's gone up to North Devon actually today, and I thought about going. And I have no doubt that Rafiki here, yeah, he'd take me. I don't worry about his reliability in that res in that respect. Rafiki would take me all the way up to North Devon, but it would. Ow! What just flew into my helmet? Ah, it's gone. But yeah, although Rafiki would take me to North Devon it would be easier on a bigger bike so I might wait until the summer and we'll take Laren up to North Devon hopefully hopefully Woolacombe because it's beautiful up up in Woolacombe but yeah today's been great I think I want to go out on a few more little adventures like this not necessarily to do anything just to to go and explore some some random places and also this year I would like to go to a couple of bike shows in fact there's a bike show in three weeks yeah, there's a bike show in three weeks. There's another one in September. So this year, I'm going to make a point, as well as everything else I'm doing, I'm going to get myself and one or both of my bikes to a couple of bike shows.